Hello everyone, it's your favorite Senso Tech Jedi Lisa here and in this video we are going to talk about Chromebook deployment and where you can find your configuration file and how you push the Senso client out to your Chrome devices so that they will join your portal. Now when I do this installation with customers, the first place I'd like to start is to talk about sites. Um, when you are pushing the Senso extension out to your devices, those Chromebooks can only be assigned to one site. But but they can then be filtered into subgroups beneath that site. So here you see I have sites as listed as such as admin, elementary, high school, and junior high. So um, I want to push my devices into my high school area, so I'm going to go to the admin center of my Senso portal. I'm going to go to sites, and then I'm going to get my Chromebook configuration from uh, my high school site. Now if this assignment key is set to not set, you will not see this Git Chromebook configuration. You would then need to go to edit and add in your assignment key. Now your assignment key is just a character string. It can be anything that lets you know that when you push this configuration file out to your devices, they're going to sort themselves in this example into my high school site. So uh, when you get the Chromebook configuration, it will download it and you will need to open it up in Notepad or whatever your equivalent of Notepad is. Um, and then you'll see you have lots of information contained in here. Now I will link to a video down in the description below for the end of this that talks about the different ways that you can view the thumbnails of your Chromebooks. That does need a whole separate video so please make sure that you check that out um, for the settings that you can modify here at the end. But you see that you contains your license key, that site ID. Uh, let's talk about per device licensing. This is there for two reasons. The first one being we do license it by device but we deploy two usernames. So if you have a cart of devices that uh, users will check out but many users are logging into one individual device, Senso will only apply a license just to that one device and you're not burning a license every time a different user logs in. So you want to make sure that per device licensing is set to true. It's also for privacy reasons. So if a student goes home and logs into a non managed device because we only deploy Senso to managed devices in Google Admin Console. So let's say they use their school account on their private device and log in. Senso is not going to deploy only to school managed devices. Uh, asset ID, if you'd like to see the asset ID of your devices in the Senso portal, you would change that to true. And then again, make sure that you check out the video for the other options that you have as far as viewing the Chromebook uh, in thumbnail. Now, once you've done that, uh, uh, you'll go ahead and copy all of that information. And I usually like to keep this minimized just in case for some reason it doesn't copy correct. You know how sometimes that does. Um, and then you're going to go on over into your Google Admin Console. Now, we are device licensing, but for deployment, we deploy two usernames. So keep that in mind. You will want to deploy this out to whatever OU or sub OU that you have set up that contains the usernames that you want to have since they're deployed when they log into a Chromebook device. So you are going to navigate to Devices, Chrome, and then from Chrome, you'll go into apps and extensions. And from apps and extensions, you'll go to users and browsers. Again, you want to pick the OU that contains the usernames that you want to deploy your Senso client out to. You'll click the little yellow plus sign down here and go up to the Chrome Web Store. You're going to search the store for Senso.cloud. Uh, when it, once it comes up here, you're going to click on the Senso client and then select. Um, then the Senso client will show up here. Here. You want to modify the installation policy to force install or force install and pin to browser toolbar, whichever one of those options you'd like. And then you're going to paste that JSON file that we spoke about earlier right here in the policy for extensions and then click save. Now the reason I'm not clicking save right now is you see I have hidden my license key down here for filming purposes, but this would be populated by your license key um, that you have copied uh, out of the configuration file from your admin center. Once you have done that, your devices will then show up over here in your managed devices and then they will start populating themselves here in list view. Now because I deleted the configuration file over here, my devices have fallen out of the portal, but you get an idea of what's going to happen there. Okay guys, well that is how easy it is to deploy Senso out to your Chrome devices and I will see you in the next one. Bye.